Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of September 6th, 2018. I'm Brandon Zek. I'm Christina Reese. And the fall is barreling down on us. Man, is it. And for this Top 5, this is just a regular weekly Top 5. There's so much happening. We're not going to recap what we've already picked for the fall preview. <clears throat> you can go back and watch that from a couple weeks ago. So we're just going to, this is all fresh. Yeah. Some of those shows are opening this week, so that's why we encourage you to go back. So number five this week is Chris Ireland, a photographer out of Cleveland who now lives in Fort Worth. Uh, this is a photo series called Ordinary Time and it is at the SRO Gallery, which is the standing room only gallery, a hallway gallery at Texas Tech in Lubbock. We ran an article recently about the SRO Gallery. It's consistently shown some really, really great work. Uh, this work reminds me a little bit of uh, Richard Billingham's uh, photographs of just quotidian life. Um, it really is ordinary time. If you're in uh, Dallas or Fort Worth, you might have seen this. this uh, Chris showed this work at 500X. He showed it at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. Um, and it's all about recontextualizing his own home family life, photographs taken 10 years apart. It's really beautiful and a really kind of cool series. Number four this week is a show of works by Harry Geffert uh, called Look Up There. It's at Chris Worley in Dallas. Uh, Harry Geffert is a longtime Texas artist uh, who actually passed away recently in 2017. He makes beautiful bronze works. These are gonna be some new works, some of his final works, uh, and some works from his estate, so representing, you know, 30 years or more of a career. Yeah, Harry Geffert, really important Texas artist. He actually pioneered a bronze casting technique that artists use today. It opens this weekend, and um, it's an important show, an important Texas artist. Number three this week is a group show at UTSA in San Antonio. It's called Deep Roots, an Intersection of Borders. So this show is a kind of a continuation of San Antonio's tricentennial. Um, it's a little bit of showing the talent of San Antonio, but you know, it's all about Blurring Borders, it's curated by Liz Paris and Chris Davila. Uh, Ruth Buntello, uh, Rafael Farrado, uh, Joe Harjo, Kathy Vargas, lots of great artists, lots of artists whose names we're familiar with. San Antonio's Tricentennial is a perfect time for San Antonio to kind of put those artists on a pedestal and recognize what they're doing. And this is another show in that series. Number two this week is Ed Ruscha. This is the Ed Ruscha Papers at the Harry Ransom Center, UT Austin, which, you know, when they do an art exhibition, it's the real deal. This is from their own papers. By the way, Ed Ruscha is going to be in Austin tonight speaking with the curator of this particular show. So, Jessica McDonald. Absolutely. So tonight in Austin, go see Ed Ruscha talk. Uh, and go see the show. Oh. It's everything. It's books, photographs, drawings, kind of all of the processes of working that you would expect Ed Ruscha to have, he had. And number one this week is at PhotoFest in Houston. It's a show called Seeing Harvey, Personal Stories, Public Responses. Um, it's opening on Saturday, September 8th. It's really a community sourced show about Hurricane Harvey and about the hurricane's effect on Houston and the surrounding community. Um, there's some like photojournalistic work that was taken during the storm, but then there's other works that people submitted using hashtags on Instagram. But this is the one year anniversary of Harvey, so. PhotoFest is a really good organization that kind of is able to accurately take the temperature of Houston and give Houston shows that it needs accordingly. So I feel like this is just a really kind of perfect response to the year anniversary of Harvey. Yeah. 